Children, I'm going to read you the story of Jack and the Beanstalk today. Yay! This is Jack, and this is Jack's mother. Jack and his mummy have no money and no food in the house. All they have is one cow. She is a good cow, and she gives good milk. But Jack and his mummy want food. We have to get some food, says Jack's mummy. Off you go with the cow, Jack. Go and get some money for the cow, and then we can get some things for tea. I will see what I can do, says Jack. Away he goes with the cow. He sees a man. What a good cow you have, says the man. Yes, says Jack. She is a good cow, and she gives good milk. But we cannot keep her. We have to get some money for food. I have no money, says the man. But I have some magic beans. Please give me the cow, and you can have my magic beans. That will be good says Jack. Here you are. You have the cow, and I will have the magic beans. Jack thanks the man, and then he goes home. Now, what do you think Jack's mummy will say? She will say, oh, stupid boy, you've been cheated. No, I think she'll plant the magic beans in a pot and see if it brings them good luck. Well, I think she'll just simply ask Jack to cook the beans and eat them up. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see what really happened. Jack gives the magic beans to his mummy. Look, he says, we can have beans for tea. His mummy looks at the beans. Is that all you have? She says. I do not want beans. She throws the beans away into the garden and Jack has to go to bed with no tea. <laughs> The magic beans come up. They make a big, big beanstalk. What a big beanstalk, says Jack. It makes the house and the trees look little. I will go and see what is up there. No, says Jack's mummy. Keep away, Jack. There will be danger up there. Yes, says Jack. There will be danger. But I have to go and see what is up there. His mummy lets him go. Jack goes up and up and up. He sees a big house. It is a giant's house, but Jack wants to go in. No, stop, says the giant's wife. You cannot come in here. Please let me come in, says Jack. I will be good. The giant's wife likes children. She lets Jack in and gives him some food and some milk. Jack thanks her. 
The giant comes home. He says, Fee, fi, fo, fum. Little children, here I come. Now, what do you think will happen, children? The giant will eat Jack up. Yes. No, I think the giant's wife will hide him somewhere. Mm, yeah. yeah. But where? Where do you think Jack can hide? I think he can hide under the giant's bed. Good idea. No, I think Jack will hide behind the curtains. Hmm. That's clever. Let's see what happens to Jack next. The giant's wife puts Jack in the cupboard. She says to the giant, There are no children here, but I have some food for you. The giant has his tea, and then he says, Get me my money bag. The giant's wife gets him the money bag, and then she goes off to bed. Jack looks at the money bag. The giant stole that money bag from my daddy, he says. I have to get it. The giant goes to sleep. Jack gets the money bag. He runs away down the beanstalk with it. The giant sleeps on. Jack gives the money bag to his mummy. Was this daddy's money bag? He says. Yes, it was, says his mummy. The giant stole it. So Jack and his mother have some money now. Yes, let's see what happens next. Jack goes up the beanstalk again. He comes to the giant's house and he sees the giant's wife. I do not want you to come in, says the giant's wife. The giant will come home and he will be after you. Please let me in, says Jack. The giant's wife likes Jack. She lets him in and gives him some food and drink. Then the giant comes home. He says, Fee, fi, fo, fum, little children, here I come. Jack gets into the cupboard. There are no children here, says the giant's wife. But I have some food for you. The giant has his tea. And then he says, get me my magic hen. The giant's wife gives him the magic hen. And then she goes off to bed. <coughs> Jack sees the magic hen. The giant stole that hen from my daddy, he says. I have to get it. The giant goes to sleep. Then Jack gets the hen and runs away with it. The giant sleeps on. Jack goes down the beanstalk. He gives the hen to his mummy. Look, mummy, he says. Can we keep this hen? Yes says his mummy. The giant stole that hen from Daddy. That's a real greedy giant. Yes, he stole so many things from Jack's Daddy. What has Jack got back now? Let's see. He's got the money bag and he's got back the hen. That shows he's a real greedy giant. Good. Let's see what's going to happen next. Jack goes up the beanstalk again. He goes to the giant's house. 
please go away, says the giant's wife. You cannot come in here. The giant will get you. Please let me come in, says Jack. The giant's wife wants to help Jack. She lets him in and she gives him some food and milk. The giant comes home. He says, Fee, fi, fo, fum, little children, here I come. There are no children here, says the giant's wife, but I have some food for you. She gives the giant his tea. Then the giant says, Get me my magic harp. The giant's wife gives him the magic harp. And then she goes off to bed. The magic harp plays for the giant. And he goes to sleep. Jack looks at the harp. That was my daddy's harp, he says. I will get it. Jack gets the magic harp and runs off with it. But the harp says, help, help. The giant gets up and runs after Jack. Jack runs to the beanstalk and the giant keeps on after him. Down goes Jack and down goes the giant. Down and down and down. What do you think will happen to Jack, children? Jack may give the harp to the giant and then go home. No, I think the giant will eat him up anyway. I think they'll both fall down the beanstalk and get killed. Let's go on and see what actually happens. Jack sees his home. He says, Mummy, Mummy, get the axe. The giant is after me. Jack's mummy runs to get the axe. She gives it to him. Now, what do you think Jack's going to do? He will cut the beanstalk with the axe. Very good. That's what he did. <laughs> Down comes the beanstalk and the giant is killed. That is good, says Jack's mummy. The giant is no danger to us now. Let us go and get some good things for tea. Children, do you like the story? Yes! What do you think of Jack? Would you do the same if you were Jack? 